Hey everyone, Kevin with Kitty Hawk here, and today we're going to walk through a quick tutorial on how to use streaming within Kitty Hawk. So first we're going to start with the application on the device connected to the controller that will be flying the aircraft. So on that device we'll go ahead and launch Kitty Hawk, and of course this would be after any of your pre-flight procedures. So you can see we're connected to the aircraft at the bottom and we're going to tap fly. Now we can take a look at our sensors and make sure there's no anomalies and nothing needs calibrated. Everything looks pretty good there. So now we can scroll down and actually take a look at our streaming settings. First, we're going to want to make sure that broadcast flight is actually enabled. Then we can set our stream quality. And then we can even decide whether or not to include the heads up display and telemetry details. So now we'll just tap fly in the top right. And now we're brought to our in-flight screen. So now we can actually go to the device that we want to view from. Here we go. And you'll notice along the bottom we can go to our active streams and tap view. There's a couple of streaming options. We'll just tap our top option, which should be the most recent. And sometimes it might take a second to buffer and load. So now we are live on our iPad from another mobile device, and we can also do the same from our web dashboard. So after you log in, we'll just go down to Live Streams, and it'll bring us to a nice page that shows us our pilots on the map and our options for viewing. So there's our options here. We can see them located on the map, and we'll just click into one of these streams. So again, depending on internet connectivity, sometimes it might take a second to actually buffer. So there we go, loaded up on the web. And worth noting, you will join automatically muted, but you can unmute this and actually communicate with the pilot in real time. That way we don't have to text or call if there's anything that we need to communicate. And same thing on the mobile apps, you can unmute yourself by tapping on your name here at the bottom. And if I move this around a little bit, we can see that this is still live. So pretty instantaneous between both the mobile app and the web here. And that about does it. Let us know if you have any additional questions on this or you're having any issues. Please feel free to reach out. As always, fly safe and fly often. And from everyone at Kitty Hawk, thanks for flying with us.